I'm Andrew Holcomb with Dagger Kayaks, and we're here today to talk to you a little bit about the Mamba. Mamba is a pretty cool boat. This thing was designed with a lot of the kayak schools around the country, we're talking to a lot of people that teach kayaking, and a big goal of it was is to make it easy to learn in. Um, and not only is it easy to learn in, but it grows with you. This is a boat that you can, from a very dead beginner, you can never have been in a boat before. You can get in this thing, it has a lot of design features that make it really easy, really comfortable, very predictable. But then on top of that, as you become a better and better paddler and start running more rivers with a little bit more difficulty or even a lot more difficulty, this is a boat that you're going to be able to keep. You're going to be able to keep it for as long as you're a paddler and it's always going to be able to do something that you want to do. So it really grows with you as a kayaker. The other really cool thing about this boat is it comes in three sizes. It comes in a Mamba 7.5, a Mamba 8.0, and a Mamba 8.5. And so you have a lot of variety, a lot of options. And we have some guidelines that are suggestions for the type of paddlers, your weight and your height to go with each one. But it's really important to remember that those aren't gospel. You should try these boats out. So if you have long legs, for instance, that's a common problem, but you don't weigh very much, you probably actually won't want the Mamba 7.5 because you're not gonna have enough leg room. So you can move up to the Mamba 8.0, same boat, all those great, same forgivable characteristics, and you're just gonna be more comfortable. So really check out all those sizes. So we're going to talk a little bit about some of the design features and qualities of this boat that make it so easy to paddle, forgivable, but allow you to kind of grow with it. We're going to start off with the hull. First you notice it's a planing hull. And what this means is it's just pretty flat across the bottom here and then transitions into this edge, which then goes into the side wall and then onto the top of the boat. And the nice thing about this being flat like this is it gives you a nice platform to sit on when you're learning, which is real helpful. People like to feel stable and that flat bottom kind of helps with that. And then on top of that, having this kind of more abrupt transition here, it makes it so you have to put this boat on edge. It won't just go there totally accidentally. You kind of have to do something. That's a good thing when you're first learning out that you make that conscious decision to put it on the edge and the boat's just not responding to something you don't quite know you're doing. And then as you move on back though, you notice that what this edge does is it kind of softens out, it really smooths out on towards the back of the boat and into that rocker towards the back. And what this allows it to do is you get all the positive qualities of the edge. You know, setting your edge, being able to carve your turns, um, you know, having that secondary stability, but you don't get it grabbing you when you go on to edge accidentally, which does happen. So if you go on to edge accidentally in this boat, the smooth transition back here in the back, as well as onto the top of the boat here, just make it so that it almost self writes You can see the smooth transition just continues all the way around on the back. And that makes it really forgiving so that when you do go on the edge accidentally, you can kind of pop it back up a little bit easier. You don't have that real sharp edge continuing all the way to the stern to grab you, okay? And then kind of moving on, you have nice high knees here, which make it really comfortable, really nice seating position, as well as allow you a lot of control you have good bow rocker, allows you to get up and over things, and you have a little bit of a peak deck here which kind of sheds the water off, keeps it from building up and kind of stopping you as you're paddling downstream. Standard safety features, you have the grab loops, and then you have these two behind the cockpit rim which are really nice for just additional points of grabbing onto. Or, for those of you guys that are teaching other people, this is really nice when you're saving a swimmer. They can grab onto these and actually pull themselves up onto the back of the boat. So that's another pretty cool thing about the Mamba. It makes it really versatile and usable for a lot of people. 